dial down here. My name is Chris Cook. For those of you who don't know, I live here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm direct to Symmetry Financial Group and uh, worked here with the company now for eight years. Crazy, man. Um, all right, top three app count for this past week. Let's get into it, Tina. We got James Martinez, Paul Gray, Andrew Valentine with five applications. Way to go. Rocco Pearson, Sam Case with six. Number one, Jordan Oliveras. Way to go, Jordan. Buddy, killing it. That's awesome. Jordan Oliveras. I love it. Hey, Tina, before you put, put out the top five producers, I am going to call out Every producer did over 3,000 this week because I think that's a good recognition point. Jeff Billman, 3,114. James Trent Price, 3,452. Sam Case, 3,622. DJ Robinson, 3,971. Andy Ballantyne, 4,025. Michael Gray, 4,166. Mohammed Ba, 4,486. Elijah Carujo, 4,553. How did he do that while he was in Tahiti? Good Lord, Elijah. He did that before he left on the weekend. That's pretty awesome, man. Pa Paul Gray, 4,866. Riley Case, 5,231. Way to go, Riley. Proud of you, buddy. And um, now let's get into our top five producers this past week. Mr. James Martinez, 5,991. Paul, he's always sharp. 6,451. We go, Paul. Number three, Jordan Oliveira, 6,708 in premium. Way to go, Jordan. Number two, Rocco Pearson, 6,851. Rocco, proud of you, buddy. I know, man, you're going to be so special here. It's going to be awesome. Number one, guys, solid as a rock, Mr. Brian Howe. He had himself one awesome, awesome February. We'll get into that for a second. Mr. Brian Howe had 7,000. 848 this past week. Look at your names here on this leaderboard right here. If your name's not on this leaderboard, I'm just like, man, what are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? Read your name off there. Proud of everybody that's on this leaderboard. Brian Howe, Jake Schaefer, Samantha Case, Troy Stevens, Jake Schaefer, brand new agent, guys, already at 10 plus or more interviews for the week. Joe Martinez, Jeff Miller, Cameron Miller, Betsy Barr, Rochelle Singleton, Daryl Brown, Dustin Hensley, Mark Newbauer, Jared Gillum, Barry Davis, Jeff Billman. Proud of everybody. If your name's not on there, come on now. What are you thinking? Let's go. Get your name on there this week. That's a, that's a key one, right? That's a challenge for you. Top recruiters this past week, Jake Schaefer, Joe Martinez, Jared Gillum, Barry Davis, Jeff Billman all had a recruit. Yay. Troy Stevens, Sam Case, two recruits. Me and Miss Tina also had two. Way to go, us, Tina. <laughs> we recruited, right? So... Top agencies this past week in production, Mr. Joe Martinez and his base shop, folks, 17579 Way to go, Martinez base. Crujo agency is pretty nice when you go to Tahiti and your team still does 17712 in a week. Way to go, Crujo agency. Number one, it's always Miller time around here. The Miller agency, 37674 Here's what the Miller agency's got going for them. They have a lot of people on the interviews each week, so it means they have unique builders. They have a lot of people engaged, which they're on calls, and they have a lot of people taking A-leads and a lot of people taking a lot of distribution of leads. And that leads to those three things, a combination of, of very fast success here. Way to go, Miller team. Super, super proud of you guys. Really good stuff there. Top agencies in building this past week, Martinez Agency. Gillum Agency with two recruits. Our agency with three. Way to go. And Miller Time. Look at that. Hey, isn't it funny how personal production and recruiting are hand in hand? Miller Agency. Way to go, Miller Agency. Super, super proud of you guys again on that right there. Another fantastic week by the Miller team. All right. We still got the monthly leaderboards, which we have some mighty impressive monthly leaderboards to share with you fine folks. It's Tina. Should I drum roll it, Tina? Lauren. Oh, yeah, you do it, Riley. Riley's got it. Riley's probably got the beat. It's okay. Do you want me to just call it out from my sheet? Okay, cool. If you find it, 
let us know. If you don't, no worries. We can handle it from here. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to call it the top three app count people from the month of February. So if you want to know, if you're wanting to be a leader in this, get these numbers. Brian Howe, guys, with 23 applications this past month. Way to go, Brian Howe. Number two spot, Mr. Elijah Cruel. And he spent the last week of the month in Tahiti. Elijah with 24 applications. And number one, guys, Mr. DJ Robinson with 37 applications this past month. And for the... For those of you new people out there, a lot of our vets already know DJ and, and um, what he does. He makes over $1,000 a week. He runs more appointments than anybody else. He makes more dials than anybody else. So if people want to ask, well, how does he do it? Uh, it's because he makes more activity than anybody I see. And he does it all on B5 leads. And so if you're wondering, can you make money on B leads coming here? Yes, B5 leads. Uh, you absolutely can. You just got to be willing to make more dials and run more appointments than anybody else. And that's what Mr. DJ Robinson is willing to do pretty much each and every week. All right. Next slide, Miss Tina. Top four producers for this month. Andy Ballantyne. What do you go, Andy? 22,926. Elijah Crujo, 23,402. Brian Howe, 42,000. Bravo. Howe. That is a great month, buddy. 42,853 in a month, sir. That's impressive. You know what's even more impressive? <laughs> Mr. DJ Robinson on B5 leads, making over $1,000 a week, running appointments, 50,175 in premium just this past month. And Mr. DJ Robinson, uh, Lauren, I think finished number three or number four in all of symmetry last year. In personal production is announced on our uh, week or our quality conference, virtual conference last Wednesday. So way to go, DJ Robinson. Agents that wrote their first application this month, Jeff Cates, Christian Miller, and L. Tomko. Way to go. Congratulations, everybody there. Top agencies this past month, Crujo Agency at 62,746. Martinez Agency, 72,750. Way to go. And that's his base shop, folks. The Miller Agency, 179599 as an agency this past month. Way to go, Jeffrey Miller. That's awesome, buddy. Good stuff. Agencies in building. Zarn Martinez, new Bauer base, eight recruits. Our base, nine recruits. Gillum Agency, way to go. 12 recruits this past month. And Miller Agency, see the correlation, folks. You add more people. You recruit more people, more people tend to do more things. Miller Agency with 32 this past month. It's not too shabby at all, Mr. Miller. That is pretty awesome, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, buddy. Super proud of you, man. And I want to give a shout out to the entire organization. Um, just in the first two months, a lot of people wonder, are we still growing at the pace that we've been growing this past year? In 2021, we grew 89% as an organization over the previous year. We're up over 100% um, through the first two months of this year compared to the first two months of last year. Um, we didn't hit over a million in premium until about mid-April of last year. We're already, as an organization, at 1.1 million plus just through the first two months. Another 500,000 plus month this past month. So congratulations to everybody that's going out there and smoking. I believe our current run rate, we're already above last year's numbers by 114% growth rate. So congratulations, organization. Certainly met by the Miller organization and the storm that they're producing out there. And uh, as the old saying goes, that no, we hadn't seen anything yet because we got some studs coming on board right now and some people that are going to be the next Brian Howes and DJ Robinsons that are just coming aboard with us right now. So it's going to be good times. All right, that's what I had to cover in that. Um, meetings in March. Hold on a second here. I'm take my little thing back here from me. And we have a lot of meetings in March. So get your new uh, pens and notepads ready. We have Phoenix, March 10th. Put that down, Phoenix, Arizona, March 10th. So if you're in the Southwest, there's a good place for you to go. There's a meeting for you to plug in. Phoenix, that's March 10th. That's going to be on our calendar. I believe, Tina, you probably already put it on our calendar. 
out there in the thing. We also have March 23rd, we've got the Knoxville, Tennessee meeting. That'll be from 11 to 1. So treat that as your Southeast Regional meeting if you're in Georgia, uh, Alabama, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, get to that meeting. We're going to have a lot of good people training you there. That's on March 23rd and March 26th, guys, from 12 to 2, Southern California. Make sure everybody's plugging into that. That's our meetings for the month of March. And for the month of April, write this down, April 7th, we have our North Pacific Northwest meeting in Idaho again. Uh, that's coming up April 7th. April 14th, we'll have another Phoenix, Arizona meeting. We have April 20th, Knoxville, Tennessee, and San Antonio, Texas, coming up April 28th. So if you're anywhere in those regions of the company or in the country, make sure you guys are putting that down so you can take advantage of those um, meetings and making sure you're getting people to that and making sure we get to meet you guys in person, which we know is always something that we see a uh, catalyst for growth is people getting plugged in and, and getting and see everybody in person and getting some good live training. Also, big shout out and congratulations to Mr. Joe Martinez and his wife. Um, it's official. They qualified for Costa Rica 2022. So Joe's got an all expensive paid trip to show you if you do the right things long enough here, folks, um, great things tend to happen. And Joe qualified. Um, He's qualified for several trips, by the way. It's just COVID has not let him go. But <laughs> he does get to go on one trip here at Cancun here in about three or four weeks. Uh, so him and his beautiful wife are going to get to go to Cancun, all expensive pay trip. And then now they've qualified in September to go to Costa Rica with all the leadership of the company, one of the most exclusive trips that we have, and uh, all expenses paid again. How cool is that? Two weeks a year, you can have all expenses paid trips to like five, six star places and uh, pretty phenomenal and super proud of you, Joe Martinez, buddy. And your team is exploding, man. So proud of you, man. Hard work is is rewarded around here and we'd love to see that. So awesome, awesome stuff, buddy. All right. Boom. Brandon, we got you out here, don't we, buddy? Yes, sir. Brandon Childs. All right. You're wearing your Auburn shirt. So my wife, she probably recognizes that. So we got you this past weekend, buddy, but no, don't worry. You own us in football, so it's okay, man. Uh, and your basketball team is pretty good, my man. So, Brandon, how long have you been here at Symmetry, buddy? How long ago did you start? Um, I started really full-time in late November. Um, I started out part-time, wasn't really working out part-time. My, my full-time job was too, too many hours to do any other part-time work, so I had to kind of make the decision about what I wanted to do, so. I love it, buddy. Well, I can't wait to see what the future holds here for you and your family, Brandon. And the Gillums have chosen you to do this week's book of the month on the squeaky wheel. So you're going to wrap it up for us, and then we're going to introduce a new book of the month, man. So can't wait to hear it, buddy. Yeah, so um, this is squeaky wheel by Guy Winch, and I wanted to kind of focus on, on chapter six because it's something that kind of just really spoke to me. Um, the, the author kind of gives an example of like two different couples and how they handle complaints and criticisms within their relationship. And he talks about the five horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, the first horseman is called criticism and, and complaint turns into criticism when we use infinites towards each other, like you always do this or, or you never do that. And a lot of times our response to that is the second horseman, we become defensive. <clears throat> and when we become defensive, typically that's when we put up our walls and, and normally we hurl back um, criticisms towards the person criticizing us as, as a response to that. And then we fall into number three, which is withdrawal and disengagement. Um, after going back and forth with one and two with each other, someone decides that, hey, I'm done with it. And they just kind of walk off. And the problem isn't really ever solved, um, you know, after that, we, we get to the fourth horseman, which is content. We quit showing compassion towards the person that's complaining towards us or showing criticisms towards us. And, and that's just not good in our relationships. And then number five, the, the fifth horseman is we become deaf and blind. We just generally just don't show any care at all to someone's concerns or emotions towards us because we're just tired of dealing with it on a, on a daily and regular basis. And so what, what Guy says we should do is make sure that we use what's called couplehood enhancers. And some of those are to make sure that when someone's complaining to us that we make eye contact with them and make sure that we're hearing their, their concerns and, and understanding their emotions. And, 
Number two is to make sure that we also, if we're the one doing the complaining, that we're sharing the floor evenly with the person that's complaining because they typically are going to have some sort of emotions or, or feelings towards the subject matter that we're talking about and bringing to them as well. And then we need to make sure that we respond appropriately to emotions and body language that people have, such as instance, if they start crying, we need to make sure that we respond to that appropriately with compassion and empathy, and that we don't just hurl more criticism that it's like, why are you crying about this? It's nothing to cry about, you know? Um, that's not going to do anything to solve any problems. And, and maybe we need to try to do other things too, like lighten the situation up by using some light humor when, when appropriate. It's not always appropriate, but sometimes you can throw some of that in there. And we need to make sure that in our relationships, when you chose a spouse and you became friends, you, you built a strong foundation of commonality with one another and you shared similar and common passions. And we need to make sure that even when we have kids and things get crazy, that we carve out time with one another to make sure that we can re revisit those common passions that we have with one another so that we can remember why we're friends in the first place. Um, we need to also remember too that when males have relationships with their buddies and other males that the way that they bring emotion into the friendship is completely different than the way that females relate to one another as well and show emotion. And so that we need to be intentional, which is a word we use all the time around here, make sure that we're intentional when speaking to one another and that we're intentional in understanding each other's emotions. And so lastly, to kind of summarize it all up, um, a term we use here in the South a lot is nip it in the bud. And so if you can use a lot of these couplehood enhancers to prevent falling deep into the, the grips of the five horsemen of the apocalypse, um, you, can, you can nip it in the bud pretty quickly. A lot of times people around here have these trees called crepe myrtles, and they're really pretty trees in the spring that, that bloom really pretty flowers for a little while. But the thing about crepe myrtles is if you don't take care of them, they always have these sprouts that come up from the bottom of them, new trees coming up right underneath that tree. And if you don't pull those up quickly, they take deep root. And then your beautiful tree looks like an ugly bush that you can't tend to anymore because you've fallen so deep. The roots are so deep that it's too hard to pull them up and it's just not worth taking care of anymore. And so we want to avoid that and nip it in the bud. Use our couplehood enhancers to make sure that we don't fall into the grips of the five horsemen of the apocalypse in our relationships. So that's what I got for you. I love it, buddy. No, I love it. And what I really like about a book like this, folks, is is one thing years of running appointments, years of building a business has taught me is like, okay, you know, you went through eye contact, you truly got to listen to them and you got to ask yourself if you're listening to them. And I know Lauren, my wife, she'll be able to tell y'all there'll be times we're driving down the road and she'll say something to me and I'll go, uh-huh, uh-huh. She knows I'm not listening to her. And then she probably wants to smack me half the time and I get it because truly I'm not listening and I have to wake myself up and realize, Hey, I got to listen, right? If I want to value and I have to be intentional about me listening. Right. But it's the same way. And it's the builders. You understand this the same way, how you help the agents that you're engaged with body language. So key, you mentioned, you know, their uh, body language, Brandon, like body language, even though you're on zoom, they can read your body language and guess what? You can also read theirs, right? Uh, Brandon, have you felt that when you're running appointments that you can read certain body languages like, hey, they're sort of getting what I'm telling them or they're not getting what I'm telling them? Yeah, right? absolutely. Or sometimes you, they can, you can see where they're not really following along with you and then you say something that really like gets them to change. Right. That is what well, Pattern interrupt in psychology is, is, is getting them to change. And then I love that you put on there light humor. Like if I ever had anybody that I was running an appointment on um, and it was like, you ever ran an appointment, man, it feels tense, right? Like, you know, they're, they're just, you tell their gate, their, their walls are up. They're like this, looking through the screen. You can tell it's like, you know, they're just beaming down on you. And it's like, I'll, I'll crack a joke or something. Cause I'm just being intentional about how I'm trying to break the ice with a particular client, not in a cheesy way, but in a way just to try to help people. And that's what we're doing. So Here's the crazy part, folks. This book is literally, if you want to be intentional about a book like this, this is not only teaching you how to build a business, but it also is teaching you, because a lot of you are like, I don't give a flip about uh, running uh, run a business. Right? I need to make money right now for our family. Okay, 
then be intentional and pay attention because this book is teaching you how to run appointments. That's what's awesome. Like a lot of people don't get, this is all communication. This is what we're talking about. The squeaky wheel is talking about communication and how to communicate with other human beings in a good light. And if you're really intentional, you make eye contact. That's so huge. You listen to them, body language, light humor. You're intentional about what they say they are looking for. And then you're paying attention to it. You'll be amazed at what this business will do for you as long as you run. 15 appointments a week if you're full-time, right? <laughs> Eight appointments a week if you're part-time. So make sure you do the massive action with the intentionality of listening. So appreciate you, Brandon. So Brandon, would you like to know, buddy, what the next new book of the month is? Yeah, absolutely. So I can get on. All that right. Get your get pen and notepads, Riley. You killed it this last week, girl. So I know you need to know. The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acor. Um the happiness advantage. They talked a lot about it on the national call. The leadership team got together. They voted on it and said that would be a good book for our team to go in and read. I've read it before. I am giddy about being having the opportunity, the honor of reading it again. Here's a challenge I'm going to throw out to you. Shelly, Riley, Brandon, I got you all on the computer screen. Lauren, I challenge you 10 pages a day before you start your day. Challenges to myself, too. Before you start today in the month of March, get through the happiness advantage. And I can't wait to see what you guys get out of this book. This book really changed the way I, I thought in this business many years ago. And I can't wait to read it again. And um, I'm just giddy about it, man. It's going to be fun. The Happiness Advantage by Sean Acor. So make sure you guys go out there, get that book. Um, I believe Brandon, you and Braley will love it, buddy. So love it, man. Appreciate you, Brandon. Great job, my man. You the man, buddy. All right. And introducing, I've got, I have the honor of having a wife on the call here with me today. And, and for some of you that are brand new with us, you may not know Lauren Cook. Um, she's been in the business now. We've been in part of the mortgage detection and final expense business now for 18 years. Uh, she battled with me through so many times out in the field through my Tourette syndromes where I could not find a, the home that I was looking for. It was pouring down rain late at night and she was my only go to and the shoulder that I could cry on because I'm four hours away from home in eastern Kentucky. And uh, I'm just like, you know, we got five hundred dollars to our name and I'm just like, son of a motherless goat, babe. I can't find this trailer I'm looking for. Right. To go run this appointment. and. Uh, she'd be there for me. Right. And she just teach me to just keep swimming. And uh, you know what? We just kept swimming for a lot of years. And, uh, you know, <laughs> now people get to see the a little bit of the other end of our business and think, oh, <laughs> they're so lucky. And I just like, woo, uh, put in the work we did. Let's see if you feel lucky at the other end of it. You know what I mean? So um, it's an honor to have her on the call with me because I really hope you take notes on some stuff. She's going to just go over with you. Some of the new technology that's coming into our business and, and just understand where she comes from. She's done everything in this business from admin. She's ran an appointment. She's made calls. She set an appointment. She passed her state exam in four days, start to finish. How she did that, I still don't know because I, I failed it the first time I took it. So, um, babe, I uh, just appreciate you being on the call with us today. Thank you for the warm welcome. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. My Zoom lighting is, is not wanting to participate with me, so I'm doing the best I can here. But uh, we've got a lot of new technology coming on board, and I just wanted to make sure that everybody's using it. Um, from brand new agents to our, our leadership team, everybody needs to be using this because it crams probably a year's worth of knowledge into bite-sized pieces that can get you going quickly. Like all these struggles that we've had to go through figuring things out, they have condensed it down and put into these little pocket-sized pieces of training. And it covers everything. I mean, everything you can think of when you're first getting started, you're brand new in the business, never done this before, never done insurance, sales, anything. It covers everything step-by-step. Step. And how I wish Chris and I had had this back 18 years ago. Uh, just to give you a little backstory, this is how Chris's training went. 
in uh, the first mortgage protection company that we went to. And I was there, so I get to take part in that training as well. We went to the Walmart parking lot in Maryville. If any of you guys have been out there, it's Maryville, not Maryville. Tennessee, that is. Maryville, so. Tennessee. Went to the Walmart parking lot. It was like rainy, a little misty outside and uh, pulled up next to our upline. And uh, he kind of rolled down the window about that far and uh, slid some applications to Chris and then slid a phone script. And the phone script was like three pages at the time. It was ridiculous. You were basically guaranteeing that they had a check with ready for you before you so set an true. appointment with it. So I don't want to hear any complaints about the phone script now. Um, he slid out the application. He goes, make sure they sign here, here, and here. And uh, yeah, here's your first set of leads. Uh, I'll email you some more. Let me know how you do. Turn in the applications next week. That was it. That was training. And uh, we still made it work because we're, we we hustled. We're scrappy. We always say the cooks are scrappy. We, we figured it out. But um, it would have been so much easier if we had this training. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to share my screen over here. Yeah, that's what I want to share. I'm slowly but surely getting better with this. Okay, can everybody, I want to log in to our Quility dashboard. So everybody gets, as soon as you turn in your contracting and licensing, you're going to get your credentials to your Quility dashboard. This is our hub. This is where everything lives. Um, any upcoming events, any news happening, this is where it's going to be. So really like save it to your uh, bar up here, save it to where you can get it, save your passwords in it, all that good stuff. So um, in here on this left-hand side, this is where you go for everything, leads, new business, statistics, ages of building, Quality RX. If you haven't signed up for that, get in there training. So this is where I wanted to guys take you first. So the first thing that you guys need to do, if you are a brand new agent, if you've been here for a little bit, even our leaders, if you have not done this, I want you to go in here to Quility U. So you go to training under Quility U and you're going to pop up. I'm going to pull this down so I can see a little better. It's going to say, go to Quility U. You're going to click on that and it'll take you to a whole new system. This is done by Lightspeed. It's another company. We were on some of the planning committees for this. Um, they have done an unbelievable job. You'll see all your certifications, your calendar. Um, you've got the training center here, which I'm going to pull up. This is where all the, the training lives, the fast track and also the summit. I'm going to get to summit in a minute. So basically you just start here, this new agent onboarding, start here, finish it, go to fast track, finish it, getting to know your company, and then you'll come down here to summit. So it's really just one, two, three, and then you'll come down to summit. This, if you're not working, if this is your full-time job as a new agent, this should take you about a day to go through two at the most, but just to review on that second day, but that first day, this fast track is going to take you through and I'm going through it right now. You can see what I finished. It gives me my little thing and you have quizzes through it. Um, there's going to be printouts. There's going to be parts where you need to call your upline, follow it to a T, do everything it says it needs to do. Um, and you're going to you're going to be ready to go by the time you're finished it. You're going to know concepts and tools, how to use virtual mentor, where to find your quoting tools, where to find the applications, the online applications, the paper applications, underwriting guides, phone training, Casey and Brandon take you through role playing on the phone, uh, typical objections, how to get back into the, into your script when they throw something at you. Um, it even has you at the end, go through a phone call and make sure you you're doing it correctly. Uh, we've got sales training over here, how to run those zoom appointments and then business management. That's half the battle. It's great that you can dial and, and run those appointments, but if you're not getting that business issued, you're not going to get paid. So this business management has a bunch of tools for you there. So that's Quility U. I highly, 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 highly recommend 
everyone go through it if you have not already. There's going to be a lot of tips in there that maybe it's something you're struggling with and you didn't even realize it that you're going to go through. Leaders, same thing. Go through it so you know what your agents are going through. This is the first step your agents should do, be doing. As soon as they get those um, log, login credentials, take them here. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to com complete phase one and phase two and then call me. I, call me back when you finish those two and let's talk about it and then go three and four or just three, then four. That's how I would break it down for everybody to go through to use. So I'm going to take you back home and enter the newest, the newest, let me get back to Quility, beginning of Quility. Okay, we'll just go from the, Sorry, I thought it, I'm sure there's an easier way to get back to the main quality, but it is what it is. So we'll leave that up because we need to get back to it in a minute. But I want to take you to Summit. So last week they announced our newest initiative, which is Summit. It's, it's making the climb up to a 120, if that is something you're wanting to do. But even if you're not sure you're wanting to do it, this is still valuable for you because some of the things in it take you through from a new agent to your first six agent, six apps, and then from your first six apps up to a team leader. So those are things everybody can do, even if you're not really sure that building is for you yet, it will get you started in the right direction. So you can either, it's right here on the landing page, or you'll see these little mountains to your left and you'll click summit. So it gives you some information. Um, fast track is a prerequisite to get in there. So make sure you've done that first. And it has a link right there where it says click here, but otherwise it shows you your little summit steps. You've got summit one through four shows you which way to go through. And then um, just a little bit more information and then you'll click begin your summit journey. Or if you've already started it and need to come back underneath it, it says go to your next um, step. It's got a welcome video. And then this very first step it's going to have you do. And also just FYI, you cannot go on to the next step until you finish watching the video. You can't say, oh, I don't want to learn this part for whatever reason and skip it. You got to watch it. In this, you'll see there'll be objectives to each chapter. There are going to be resources. Um, and then down here, there'll also be, if there's a resource, you can also find it down here. But a lot of times it's right here. Uh, one of the first things is trying to figure out your income calculator. This is so cool. Such an easy step. Really no math involved. You're just plugging and playing what you want to make. And it's a way to for you and your upline to get together and figure out, okay, I want to make, let's see, this one, let's put you on a very beginning contract, 70. I want to make $5,000 net income. That's after leads. Um what do I need to do? And you just type it in. So we can say, let's say I want to make $3,000. Then you'll need to issue pay 6,832. And then you and your upline can go in and work backwards basically is how we do it. Okay. Well, if I need to issue pay that, how many apps do I need to write? How many clients do I need to sit in front of? How many appointments do I need to make? We have all those numbers. So super easy how to set up your week. And if you want to make more, let's say I want to make $7,000. I've got really expensive taste. I need to make a lot. Then it shows issue pay. Also the cool thing in here, it shows you how much more you make the higher the contract levels you go. So you don't have to write as much business to get to those same goals, or you can keep writing that same amount and just increase your income. So such, and this is throughout it. So many cool little features. I've already done this. So that's why it's letting me um, go through here, but it has all the different levels of leadership, promotion guides, so, so many things, slingshot bonus details. It goes exactly how to do that. So for you leaders, this cuts down so much of your time. Look, it shows them how to set up an email and do their first lead purchase. How many times have you had to walk through an agent? Also shows you how to set up a Zoom account and link your Zoom account to your Google calendar so you can keep up your things there. Even if you're not technologically savvy, if you can just watch these videos, 
you are going to be light years ahead of everybody. So that's just a little taste of summit. Once you get through, I forget which step it is. I think it's, I think it's six or seven. It's going to take you back over to the Quility You page, and you're going to do this skill block one. This doesn't take you very much time. I, I think I finished it in a, maybe an hour last week. Um, it's got some sales 101, metrics 101, and then brand standards for anybody that's using social media. The metric 101 is amazing because it talks to you about, you know, what you should look for with your leads. Um, if you're having issues, what to talk to your upline about. And throughout all this training, it has times to stop and call your upline. And I highly, highly suggest taking advantage of those. Um, for a lot of us out there, it's not always easy to ask for help, or maybe you don't under, you don't know what to ask for. You're so new. This is going to lead you through that process to start working with your upline to get, um, have them be involved in your business, letting them know you want them involved in your business. Sometimes we can't help agents because they, whenever we help them, they're like, okay, yeah, I know, whatever this will help bridge that communication gap some of us may have with working with our upline and getting definable goals and results with that upline. So can't say enough about it. Um, just such cool stuff. Chris, anything you want to add before I start uh, talking to some people that have used it so far? No, I just say, you know, what what really I take away from something like this, if I'm a new agent, every resource I have um, that I want to succeed here is already in front of me. The question is, for me, am I willing to go look at it, take notes on it, and apply it to my business? And so every resource you need to go succeed is already in front of you, and you just got to go capture the knowledge and apply it to your business. The challenge is, are you going to do it, right? And then as a builder, my question is, then why would I be spending 14 hours leading somebody, reading somebody a product guide when I've got all of this at my tool and my resources where now I can onboard somebody, put them in a system and allow my business to grow, grow and flourish. And it doesn't necessarily, the more people I add, slow me down because I have a resource and a toolbox here to help me grow the team and help me train them. It's already plug and play. So just a couple of things to think about builders and producers, a couple of things to think about. I love it. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, Dustin had, somebody had asked a question. Yeah. You're, as you're going through summit, your upline will get text, letting them know where you are through the process. So you guys can kind of talk about it through there. Um, but I, I, I am so excited with what they've done. They have done things in the past that I'm like, that was super helpful, but thanks for putting that out there. But um, this one is this one is is gonna change how we move along. And another thing is, if you're a brand new agent and you're like, I don't want to hire anybody, I don't know what I'm doing. How am I supposed to get them started? This does it for you. It takes all your excuses out of building. You can pop somebody into the system, and they can be outriding you, which is a good problem to have in no time. So please, please, please everyone. Um, if you're a brand new agent and aren't making dials yet, then yes, do this during the day, get it done as fast as possible. If you're an agent that is already out there making dials, setting appointments, running appointments, building, do this at night after your dial times, or maybe a break in between your dial times. Don't take away from those important pieces of your day to do this. If you're already started, do it at night, do it first thing in the morning, like in those blocks of times you have. Um, and just, like I said, get it done. It's going to propel you forward um, so much faster. I'm trying to think of any notes as I've, um, anything I've forgotten to go through. Nope, I think it is. Uh, I wanted, to, Chris, if you can help me with this, I'm going to unshare my screen, stop share. If you can unmute Jordan and Jared for me. They have uh, gotten started on this and already started using it. And there we go. I want to get another. There we go. Hey guys, how are you? Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. 
You're all bright and perky so early this morning. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They're out in uh, in Arizona, so it's super early out there. Not so bad for us East Coasters, but uh, I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you think about this new system? How do you think it'll impact your business? Oh, man. Oh, man. And where do we start, right? I just feel like everything that you've covered about it is what I wrote down that I wanted to say today because it's true. Everything you've said is just, it's right on, right on the line. Yeah, it will. And I love the fact, like, I know when, when we started nailing down our meetings with Chris and you about like um, our trajectory, right? Like, how do we want to build and how do we get there quickly and everything? Like one of the bigger questions was, was that like scalability, right? Like when we were talking to you guys, you guys were always like, okay, you can do that now, but what if you have 50 agents? Can you keep doing that? Like, is that realistic, right? And now the fact with the summit, I mean, I, I try to stay, a word, stay away from the word like autopilot, but in all reality, you're literally just plugging in, in these people. And then all it does is just give us more of that time rather than spending 30, 45 minutes an hour on helping somebody that may not know how to set up a Zoom account or a Gmail account or mm -hmm. connecting those two or... Google Calendar, whatever the case may be, now we can just spend that 30, 45 minutes or an hour on building that relationship, right? Because we're in that people business, we're just in the insurance industry um, and, and keeping that because that those relationships are going to be the things that propel us forward so much faster, as you can see with the Miller team. <laughs> yes, yes. So I, I was just thinking, we uh, when were we at the lake house? Was that when? It was August of last year, somewhere in there. I don't know. Sometime this summer. And we went through, you know, getting a new agent starter and all those checklists. And it's like, burn the checklist. They are no longer useful. Burn them. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> burn those suckers. Put them into Quality U. Get them through Fast Track. Get them through Summit. I did. Um, I was going back over the um, phone training this morning. And I was like, somebody give me some leads. I'm ready to dial. Like, everything was just it was there and it was so succinct and easy and it's um and it's not just Brandon and Casey it's all of our different types of agents so you get to see a lot of faces which I thought was cool 100% absolutely oh yeah that's that's always great because a, a different voice will of course resonate with you than you know John Ziller might be who you're like oh man he's from Chicago and I'm from Chicago and whatever you know what I mean you'll be able to connect with the person you're listening to uh but I definitely I I want to say that you know symmetry has done such a, a a hardcore focal focus on data this past year and in the year before, as far as making sure we're spending our time recruiting the right kind of person. Like they're looking for this, this ideal, um, I don't even know how to say it. They're looking for a data you know, amount of just how do you find the right person to succeed in this business? And part of that data analysis, they came out with Summit. You know what I mean? So if, if you're recruiting someone and they can't get through watching a couple of videos and applying it to their business or even reaching out to you whenever a little prompt on the computer says, reach out to your upline, notice that. Notice that about your business, guys, because one of the things about building a business is you can feel like you need to give all of your time to everybody. And, you know, we have learned that firsthand many a times. And, you know, Chris knows because I can't tell you how many times we've met up with them where we're like, I am so drained because I've given so much of myself to the, to the team. And he's like, but why would you give equal energy to everyone when there's people who aren't even willing to, to make a phone call? for their family and for their kids. Why, why would you, and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you for helping me prioritize my time in this business. So one of the things to focus on guys is you're putting your new agents through there is certain people are gonna stand out. Winners will always stand out. Leaders will always stand out. And this system is designed to help you identify who those people are in your organization and who to really be driving those relationships with. So. That was why I wanted, wanted to add, you basically covered everything <laughs> that I wanted to share. Uh, and I am just so grateful that they have come out with this because it just opens up the emotional energy that we have to have. You know, I mean, we're reading, we're exercising, we're giving our gratitudes, but we still have only a cup's worth of energy to give in the day, right? This is the opening up that energy in order to make sure we're spending it the way that we need to, to bring purpose in our business and be able to be the best we can be for everybody else that we come in contact with. So I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I love it. Yeah. And, and the, whole, the, the ease of this, right. And because 
when you start looking at recruiting, if anyone's brand new and you're break, like just started interviewing, you're just starting the recruiting process, like something, there's two things that Chris and Lauren have, have always told us, right? And it's one, be a traffic cop. And then two, the, the recruiting process is just a filter, right? We're not trying to convince people that this is where they need to be. We're not trying to train people into all stars, right? I can't train a Jeffrey Miller into being a Jeffrey Miller, right? That's not that's not how it works, right? So like this summit, what she just said is going to be in that extra level of filtering to filter through those people that you know that you can uh, need to spend time with, right? And again, just be the traffic cop. Don't literally like sit on summit with them. That wastes your time, right? <laughs> don't so, do that, so don't do that. Don't just do that. be a traffic cop. Just send them that way. <laughs> and then if they come back to you, I love like what Chris does. He'll, he'll be like, listen, give them a homework assignment. And if they don't come back to you after the homework assignment, then that gives you your answer, right? Simple and plain. Okay. I love it. I love, I absolutely adore that. Uh, thank you, Lauren, for also covering the time to devote towards that. Yes. Uh, because it can, you, you can get sucked into it. It's just like reading a good book. You know, you can get sucked into it, but your business has to make money. So <laughs> make sure you divide that around your business week. I put my little Alexa timer on and uh, <laughs> did what I could. And then when that timer went off, I went and did something else because, um, I definitely have ADHD and I will <laughs> on something. So I gotta, me and, me and Alexa are best friends on stuff like that. So, um, uh, Jeff, Chris, if you will unmute Jeffrey Miller for me. I'm trying to remember my alphabet. A G, not a J. After I know. <laughs> I'm looking for my J's. I'm a awesome. The hey, Jeff. Uh, Jeff actually went through a uh, summit with his daughter, kind of went through it together, um, just checking it out, uh, going through it. So Jeff, give me a couple thoughts that you had when going through it. Yeah, just the first thing, uh, first thing I'd probably want to say is why wasn't this here a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> because she was going through it. I'm like, oh, this is the stuff that I would normally have to go through, right? To With the new agents, like setting up the Zoom. Um, you know, calculating how much money they want to make and what they need to do to do that, right? How many applications and things like that. So um, that was the first thing that really was like, this is, I mean, I can help so many more people now because now the basic stuff that they're getting set up with, right? They can, they can learn it on their own. The other thing I really like about it is it makes them do it, right? Because a lot of times when you're helping a new agent, you know, you're kind of helping them and it seems like you're doing more of the work. This actually puts them on their own where they're walking through those steps you know, and they can pause the videos. I mean, and, you know, and we're hearing from, you know, uh, Brad Smith and Miranda Martin. I mean, you know, these kind of people that are, are super successful, right? And they're guiding us through these steps. So um, I loved it. I loved, um, you know, just, I just think it's going to allow us to help, help more people. But I also think it's going to get people on track quicker, right? Because it's, it's really walking them through those steps. So I, I thought it was awesome. I, I love the, the income calculator because for me, that would have been the thing where I would have stopped and I would have, okay, 70%, what do I get? Wait, wait 75%, no, 80%. Because I noticed that as I built my business that every 5% for me as a full-time agent was an extra thousand dollars a month. Well, I didn't know that until it started happening, right? But when you can have this calculator where it shows you that, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's definitely, you, you know, if you've got a spouse and together, somebody else that's got bills involved with you, right. you know, that's something that you could bring them in on and be like, let's, let's play with this and see what we can do. I, Chris, like, I'm glad it doesn't have a one, it doesn't go all the way up to 120 because Chris would be in there like, right. what can we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, and it, 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 to me, it was really more to the point. I love the, the, you know, the training they launched last year. I mean, it's really good, right? So cool to you. But to me, this is more, what do we need to do right now to get started today to start making money? Yes. And a little, a lot of um, the mental stuff of it, yeah. which um, is hard to teach sometimes because it's kind of like one of those, oh yeah, I need to tell you about this in the moment and maybe not like, ahead of time and this teaches you all those things ahead of time so you're not yeah. stumbling into that trap before you get there yeah it was great I went through the first three uh, steps with my daughter because she's just getting started you know full time so it was great to have her go through it and learn and me watch and yeah it was it's I'm excited to go through my my uh, my own training so yes well I have I've been 
done block one. I'm going to work on block two this evening uh, and get through because I want to see what it is. Um, I want to see what my agents are learning. Yeah. Uh, I highly suggest all our leadership team do that as well. I'm yeah. just so excited. It's really going to, I think, up everybody's game. We'll all be on the same platform. I'll be on the same level. Right. And as people that are, are have a team and are building the mental time it's going to save. I'm going to be able to give so much more to my team because I'm not mentally drained explaining virtual mentor for the fifth time. Right, right. <laughs> like, well, those are some of the traps you get into. Yeah. And I think, I mean, everybody needs to go through it. Like you said, I mean, it's something that you need to go through it to realize how good it is so that when your new agents are starting, that you really have that faith in the system that it really, really can work for you. Yeah. And I'm super excited for Tina because she's going to have to answer a lot less questions now that everybody's <laughs> going to go through this. So yeah. Tina's job got even easier. They can't, uh, you know, when you're working with new agents, they'll be like, you never told me that. And you're like, yeah, I did. Totally yeah. went over that with you. Well, now with Chloe to you, they, don't, they can't argue with you on it. Well, so. and, there's, and there's no reason why you can't start building now, even if you're brand new, right? Because, you know, there's right. a system there that you can literally get your new agent into. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, as long as you can get them logged into the computer, you're pretty much you're good after that. So I get so excited. Yeah. Um, I really, let's get through it all as a team this week. Let's devote some time with it so we can, um, I really uh, think it's going to get a bunch, our unique riders are going to go through the roof because this gives yeah. them no excuse, no excuse. And we know if they're not going through it because we get a text for every section they go through. So yeah. I really like that part too, because I've had ages, oh yeah, I did all the training. And we have no idea, right, if they actually did it. Yeah. And Quilty, yeah, you, you can it. have them send you their certificates, too, that show it completed because you have to take a test. Yep. Um, and unless you get it 100% right, you have to retake it, which I had to retake a couple. <laughs> so, Chris, anything else you want to close out with? No, I love it. And and I loved what the Gillum said and Jeff echoed it. It's just it's going to give you more energy to spend the right time on the right things in your business to be able to go even bigger, faster, quicker, and get this thing where it, where it can go. And uh, so we're sitting in a Ferrari. It's just how fast we want to drive it. You know what I mean? So yeah, love it, bud. Okay. Well, everybody have a great week. Get that training done. Talk to y'all soon. Awesome. Thanks. Peace. See you guys.